Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto. And back in my pre-keto days, one of my favorite recipes was a cola braised pressure cooked short rib. And I would typically have that over mashed potatoes. It was super good, family loved it. In this video, we are gonna make a keto version of this. We aren't gonna put it over mashed potatoes, probably gonna put it over either riced cauliflower or mashed cauliflower. Now this recipe can be made either with Dr. Pepper or Coca-Cola, if you were consuming lots of sugar. We're not. So I have here some Zevia, some Stevia-based soda. And I'm gonna make a game time decision right now and decide based on taste which one we're gonna use. That kind of reminds me of a bland RC Cola. Not super in love with it. This definitely brings a lot more flavor, the Dr. Zevia. So I think we're gonna use this, I think with the garlic and the Worcestershire and some of the savory stuff that we have, the extra little bit of sweetness in here is gonna provide a nice contrast. If you want, you can use a cola. We're gonna go with the Dr. Pepper type of flavor. If you don't live in the United States or don't have access to this Zevia soda, it's kind of going to be up to you what you want to use for a non-calorie soda. And I guess just take a look, decide which artificial sweetener you like, don't like, and, uh, and make your own decision. But I'm using the Zevia, and we're going to start making this recipe right now. We'll start by making our rub. We have two teaspoons of kosher salt, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, one half tablespoon of ground black pepper, one half tablespoon of cayenne pepper, and one half teaspoon of ground cumin. We'll whisk this together, and then we'll prep our beef. I have two and a half pounds of boneless beef short ribs. Now this recipe will accommodate up to about four pounds, but since I'm only serving four people today, this will be enough. We're going to start by slicing each one of these in half. Then we'll coat them with our rub on all sides. Now I'm going to set this aside, wash off my hands, and prep the rest of our ingredients. Next, we'll need six garlic cloves, peeled and smashed. We'll take care of that with the flat side of a knife. Then we'll dice up half a yellow onion. Now I know that Onions are not the most keto friendly, but really it's the only source of carbs in this dish, so we'll be fine. Bench scraper, great tool. Then for our sauce, we'll have two cups of the soda of choice, Dr. Zevia. I'm used to my soda being brown. I don't know how this is gonna affect the overall aesthetics of this dish. Then we add two tablespoons of soy sauce or tamari or coconut aminos, depending on your gluten and soy preferences. I'm doing coconut aminos. And two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Then we will add two tablespoons of olive oil to our Instapot. A 
which we'll then set to saute. Make sure that it's set to more or high, however it's labeled on your Instapot. When your Instapot says hot and you start to see the oil smoking just a tiny bit, it's time to add our meat. We're gonna add this in two batches because we don't wanna overcrowd and start steaming the meat. We wanna get a really nice sear on it. I go at least two minutes per side because I like a nice brown sear. It really adds to the depth of flavor. All right, these are looking good. We'll pull them off. And add our second batch. And we'll pull out the second batch. All that crusty fond down there on the bottom is gonna be awesome in our sauce. So now we'll add our onion and garlic. And we'll cook this until soft, stirring occasionally. It should take about four minutes. Then we will add our sauce. And scrape all those brown bits off the bottom. That is some serious flavor right there. Once we have all the fond scraped off the bottom, we will add our meat back in, tossing each piece to make sure it's well coated. Then we'll put on our lid, set the vent to the closed position, and set our Instapot to pressure cook for 30 minutes. Away we go. Once we hit that 30 minute mark, we will do a natural release for the next 15 minutes. If it takes longer than that, we will vent the rest of the steam out. Then we will transfer our meat to a plate. And then we will add one half teaspoon of xanthan gum and mix with an immersion blender to thicken up this sauce. We'll add back in our beef and use a pair of forks to break the meat up. And we'll serve it up over some mashed cauliflower. Oh, that's an Instagram pic right there. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. That is a winner right there. So tender, the balance is sweet and savory. Awesome. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you want to be notified whenever I release a new video, hit that little bell right next to it. Thanks for watching.